Hello guys, the weekend is upon us and today I want to talk about some of the additions to the backroom team at Arsenal. Uh, we started the summer off bringing in the Aussie guy, uh, Darren Burgess, to work with the team on their conditioning and uh, the guy from Team Sky to assist with contracts. Maybe it was he who helped tie up the Alexandre Lacazette deal. We don't know. But I'm really fascinated by the appointments that have been made to the coaching staff particularly. Obviously, Jens Lehmann uh, is the first team coach now, joining St uh, Neil Banfield in that role and Boro Primorac. That's a massive, massive, massive appointment. Arsene Wenger's had that team of Bold, Banfield and Primorac intact for some time now and he doesn't make appointments to that lightly. I would love to know whose initiative this is. Did Arsene Wenger think, I need to freshen things up, I need to bring back one of the Invincibles? I can't see that. That doesn't feel very Arsene to me. I do wonder if he was told, look, we need to change something here by even Gazidis, partly, I think, to bring a fresh approach to the training ground, but also to kind of show to the fans that Arsenal are aware of the problems at the club, that they want to shift something up. And I think bringing Lehman in, of all the personalities, of all the characters you could bring in, He's so abrasive, so forthright, such a dedicated professional, such high standards. It does feel like this is an appointment that might have been recommended to Arsene, let's say. I don't think you would ever get something completely past him that he didn't sign off on, but maybe he was encouraged to make an appointment from a number of candidates and he felt Lehman was the best option. Lehman has not come to Arsenal to be a goalkeeping coach. We've got to be absolutely clear about that. He's there as first team coach. That means he'll be leading sessions, he'll be helping design training plans for people, he'll be working individually with members of the squad. This is a path for Jens Lehmann that I think he sees ending in him becoming a manager. It's not a common path for goalkeepers, they often get sidelined into goalkeeping coaching. That's not what Lehmann's ever wanted and he's been very, very clear about that. He's done the appropriate badges, he is qualified and his character alone makes him a fantastic appointment. I'm so happy to see him and I'll be delighted to see him back on uh, the bench at Arsenal next season. Maybe even in the dugout at times. I mean, you'd be terrified, wouldn't you, seeing him appear on the sidelines. It'll be interesting to see, moving forward, what happens with that Banfield, Primarach, Bold, Lehman dynamic. Will somebody get squeezed out? You know, does Steve Bold have managerial ambitions? I don't, I'm not sure he does. He's been linked with other posts in the past but never seemed to pursue it with any great vigour. I think they're all pretty content being part of Arsene Wenger's backroom team. But Lehman will find his role. You can be sure of that. He won't go quietly. He won't just play along nicely. He will make an impact. Uh, and of course, another German in major developments uh, recently, Per Mertesacker, will take over as head of the academy. This is a fascinating story. I mean, Per Mertesacker's 32. I think he's 33 next season. For a start, that's very young to be announcing your retirement these days in football. It's not like he's a player who's reliant on pace. He's someone, Per Mertesacker, I thought could keep playing well into his 30s. I think for him there's a couple of things. One is that he's won the World Cup, and I think for him it was a huge thing to do that. He retired from international football. Playing for Germany was such an important component of his career. I do wonder if there's a slight, not motivation issue, but a sense of, you know, if I'm not at the top level anymore, do I want to continue? He loves being part of an elite club. He loves being part of the German national setup. Does he want to carry on and go down the leagues, or not even down the league, but down the table? Um, maybe not. And I think also injuries. I think the injury he suffered last summer, the knee injury, when you suffer an injury like that at that age, it is that much harder to recuperate. And I think it had a pretty profound effect on Mertzaki, he talked about it a lot, how difficult it was to come back, how he felt he couldn't play football as regularly as he did previously. And although he is on the books for next season, I see some people saying, well, after the cup final, he's got to start every game. I can't see that. I cannot see that. But um, he has got a tremendous future lined up because Arsenal needed an academy coach, head of the academy, rather. We were wondering who's going to replace Andrews Jonker. And it's going to be Mertesacker, not now, but in 12 months' time, there's a caretaker in the position. But I think Mertesacker, because he won't play week in, week out, he will be absorbing everything. He will have known about this probably for a couple of months, and he'll have spent the summer doing his homework. 
I mean, fantastic to have a, a German in charge. They've got brilliant youth football development, as this summer has proven at the Confederations Cup and the under-21s. And his links back in his homeland will be very, very useful. He's an Arsenal man now. You know, he's really bought into the club, the values of the club. And he's got great stature in the game. I'm not just talking about his height. Everybody respects him. I think it's fantastic news. I really couldn't... It caught me by surprise, but I'm delighted by it. And delighted that he'll be staying around the club. You know, we lost Arteta. We lost Burkamp. We lost Lehman for a period. Vieira, others. Mertzak is staying at London Colney. And that's great news. Really great news. And I think the main thing about these two appointments is they give me hope, really, that whether it's Arsen or whether it's Ivan, and I think that's a fantastic and interesting debate to figure out where these appointments have come from, there does seem to be a recognition that we have to plan for a life without this manager. These are both appointments that could ensure his legacy, his influence, lasts beyond this two-year period. That's what's needed. Youth in coaching terms, ambition, people who understand Arsenal, who understand Arsenal. I don't want to break from all the good things that Arsenal's brought to this club. I want that to continue. And to do that, we need the right team in place. Finally, we are getting that team in place. We're getting the, the band back together. And uh, it's really exciting. You know, as fans, everyone says, oh, our fans just care about transfers. They just care about players. Bullshit. I call bullshit on that. This shows that we care about more than that. If you're as excited as me, it's because you understand what this means to the club. Okay, cool. Speak to you tomorrow, guys. Have a good weekend.